to today's video if you are watching me for the first time welcome i make regular videos on beauty fashion and a lifestyle so today's video is a review video and i'm going to review two of my favorite mac cosmetics products so today i'm going to talk about a mac a studio fix range and i'm going to review her studio fix fluid foundation and also her studio fix uh, powder plus a foundation so this is a foundation which i was using since the last two years and also i have reviewed this particular foundation and compared it with my uh, pack Asia look at foundation two years back which you guys absolutely love and I'm going to link that video over here but in the past two years my skin had changed and the texture of my skin has also improved my complexion has also changed so I thought that reviewing these two products in 2021 will be a great help for you because these two products are the best selling products of MAC Cosmetics and MAC is now having her own website so you can definitely shop this is by no means a sponsored video guys so so I'm going to talk about about each and everything I know about these uh, two products I'm also going to show you the application as well as I generally do so I hope you're gonna like this video but before going to that make sure you subscribe to my channel and hit on the small little bell that small little ghanta next to the red subscribe button so that you may get updates whenever I upload a new video so without any more blabbering let's get started so this is a MAC Studio Fix a Fluid Foundation with SVF 15. This is how it looks like. And this particular foundation is surprised at rupees a 2,900 for 30 ml product, which I know is a very expensive, but I would say try to get this foundation during sale time. Wait for Nykaa's Pink Friday sale or Hot Pink sale and grab this foundation because during the sale time, Nykaa provides really good offers on MAC products like buy two, get one free. So if you buy this particular foundation during that time, You'll be getting, I think, a full-size product as a freebie with two of your MAC products. So that would be the best for you. Wait for the sale and grab it and you're not going to regret. So coming to the availability, this particular foundation is available on Nykaa on MAC Cosmetics India's official website. And also, these are available in shopper stops, in MAC retail stores and you can definitely grab it. So coming to the packaging of this particular foundation, it comes in uh, this kind of unicarton like this. And this is a complete uh, glass bottle with a black screw on the cap which you just need to unscrew to make the product out and you can see you will be not getting any pump with this a bottle which i think is such a bummer because you are paying 2900 and you are not getting pump you have to buy a pump separately from max store which cost around 850 to 900 i'm not sure but then only you can use the pump which i am really regretting because i have paid so much for this but I haven't got the pump with it. So from the packaging, I would say that it's not so travel friendly. And if you're using it on a regular basis, there are chances of spilling more product than you actually required. So a pump is a must. So coming to the shade range, MAC has done a great job in just bringing such a good variety of shades in India. This particular foundation is available in total 48 shades, which I think is so good. But still, I have struggled to get my perfect shade. So I got the shade NC41. NC40 is also having yellow undertone but it looks really light on my skin. At the same time, if I try out the shade NC42, it's having more like a golden to orangish kind of undertone which looks really yellow on my skin. So I don't have any option other than to buy NC41 which is also having yellow undertone with a little bit of warm peachness in it. But this is I think the closest match for my skin tone. If you belong to my skin kind of category, you can definitely try this shade out. I have researched a lot guys and I got the shade NC41 which goes really well with my Maybelline 310 sun beige as shade so if you are darker than me you can definitely try out NC42 if you are lighter than me you can definitely try out NC40 but NC41 is the closest match for my skin tone so coming to the consistency it's having a thick liquidy consistency not too runny not like a cream based kind of product it's in between but it blends really well with the help of your blending brush or with the help of your sponge or even with the help of your fingers so the fragrance is not that great guys i'm not at all happy with the fragrance of mac base products because they have got some kind of spirity kind of scent to it which you may call it like a neutral kind of fragrance but i don't like the scent of this otherwise the consistency is really good and it's going to just 
help you in blending out your foundation really well so now coming to the coverage i'm going to show you the application as well so it's having more like a medium to full coverage not a complete full coverage or way above medium coverage but a way less than full coverage it's in between so if you have very dark spots those are going to just peek through uh, if you put one single layer of this foundation if you put a second layer it's going to definitely hide it helps you in just making your skin look really even out really nice and the finish of this particular foundation is matte finish guys this is not having like a powdery matte finish not like a semi matte kind of finish but it's having a matte finish you will be able to find that your skin looks a matte so this particular foundation is specially curated for oily to combination skin. If you have very dry skin, this is not going to look that flattering on you. This is going to cling onto your dry patches. So I just like to mention since it's a long lasting foundation guys and long lasting foundations tends to look matte on your skin otherwise it will be just slipping off from your face and your foundation will be not lasting that well. So I love the coverage, I love the finish and it doesn't look cakey as well guys. So it photographs really well if you put two to three layers of this foundation it doesn't look cakey. If you have dry skin it might look cakey because of the dry patches and the dryness because of the blending issues because very overly matte looking foundation on dry skin uh, doesn't blend that well so in that case make sure that you hydrate your skin apply a good layer of very hydrating primer on your skin and apply this foundation and you're going to definitely get the best effect out of it i love how it actually helps in making my skin look flawless for a very long time this is a very long lasting foundation guys but i don't like to apply this foundation during the winter months because when i use this particular foundation in the winter months i need to mix some kind of oil in it otherwise it looks very matte on the skin which i don't enjoy this foundation oxidizes on me just a little bit so i have found that when i initially apply this it looks really light on my skin but within 20 minutes to 25 minutes or within half an hour this uh, just becomes a little dark on my skin which is actually good for my skin because it just adjusts with my skin color and it looks good and it's a very very long lasting which is I think a great point of this particular foundation so it lasts on my skin for more than a 10 to 12 hours which I think is really long lasting for a foundation to be on my combination skin and this particular foundation also provides you SPF 15 so you can definitely wear it during uh, the daytime and it will be providing you sun protection as well but overall I would say that it's not too fancy it's not a fancy foundation which you can differentiate from your other regular foundation because in the market you'll be getting similar coverage similar kind of finish and you will be paying a lot less even the pack foundation works so well and my pack HD liquid foundation which I have mentioned in that previous video as well that also works so well and so long lasting looks amazing in pictures even uh, if you want to pay similar price uh, you can go for Too Faced Bond This Way foundation which is my current obsession I love that foundation it looks like an expensive foundation on your face it looks amazing on the skin even my Milani Conceal and Perfect foundation looks so good on the skin I really really love that foundation so, but I haven't found uh, this to be looking like a very super expensive high-end kind of product when you apply it on your face it gives me similar kind of result uh, like my other regular foundation for which i have paid i think a fraction of the amount which i have paid for this particular foundation so i would definitely say if you want to try out mac cosmetics uh, studio fix of fluid you can go ahead and buy because you're getting amazing coverage and it also has got spf 15 which will provide you sun protection so you can definitely go ahead but if you are under budget and if you want a really good foundation you have got a lot of options guys you don't have to just pay 2900 to get a good foundation a lot of good options are available in the market which may be also looking the same on the skin like the max studio fix of fluid so i have tried it guys and this is my personal opinion about this foundation which i also have shared in my last year's video as well so that's what i can say you can definitely try out i wouldn't say it's a bad product guys it's a good product it's a good foundation it provides you good coverage it's not that overwhelming kind of product which will just make you look like anything different that's the thing i like to mention
So coming to the next product is this one which is my favorite product of the entire Studio Fixer range by MAC Cosmetics. It's a Studio Fixer powder plus a foundation which you may call it as a MAC compact and this is how it looks like. This is also an expensive product and it's priced at rupees. 2900 for 15 grams of product the quantity is really good for a compact and you can use it as your powder foundation to just even out your face at the same time you can use it as your compact powder to just set your concealer or your foundation and it's going to serve your purpose and it's also available easily on Nykaa on MAC Cosmetics uh, India's official website in a MAC Riddle stores in Shopper Stop so you can collect it from anywhere of the places which I have mentioned so now coming to the packaging this is how it looks like it comes in an outer unicarton and like this like the regular MAC products it's a black in color and you can see the shade number is written over here now coming to its actual packaging this is how it looks like very nice uh, MAC black classy elegant packaging when you open it it comes with a mirror as well and this is how the powder foundation uh, looks like it also is having its own sponge with which you can definitely apply the product because the sponge is of very very good quality it's a very very soft sponge and the packaging is also perforated over here which helps your sponge to breathe and it's also a very travel friendly product you can just put it in your purse and travel with it there is no chance of breaking or just opening up the product in your bag so now coming to the shade range, MAC has also done a great job in just bringing a really good variety of shades in this particular range as well. This particular powder plus foundation is available in total 38 shades and you will be definitely getting your perfect match. I got the shade NC41 in this powder plus foundation as well. And this is a medium color with yellow undertone which goes really well with my medium skin tone. And I really like the shade guys. NC42 looks again really yellow on my skin. When I have applied a full face of foundation and concealer, applying NC42 looks a kind of yellowish and orangish on the skin which looks a kind of dull and off. So that's the reason I have picked up the shade NC41. I know a lot of people doesn't even know that NC41 exists in MAC. So if you are in between NC40 and NC42, if you want to try out a shade which is darker than NC40 but looks lighter than NC42, you can definitely try out NC41 and you are going to definitely love it. So now coming to the actual product. So I love this Powder Plus Foundation by MAC guys. When it comes to my favorite MAC products, I would say I love their stroke cream. I love MAC highlighters. Those look so amazing on the skin and Firstly, I would say I really love MAC powder plus a foundation. It has got a very finely milled powder. It doesn't look cakey and it just helps in making your skin look really even out. So on an everyday basis, you can definitely use this compact powder just as your base. Apply your moisturizer, apply your layer of sunscreen and apply this a powder foundation with the help of your sponge just to make your skin look even out and it provides your sheer to medium coverage which is really good for an everyday basis and I enjoy this particular product for using every single day because when I'm just going to work it gives me such a nice look my skin looks really natural it gives you like a skin like finish it doesn't look matte it doesn't look overly cakey and also you can use this particular powder plus foundation for setting your foundation and concealer your under eyes just look flawless guys I'm going to show you the application I will be able to make out that my under eyes look really flawless as soon as I apply this compact powder to set my concealer it's perfect for occasions perfect for parties when you want a really good flawless base I would say this is a product which you should definitely try out a really good compact which is completely different from the other regular compacts because most of the compacts look so cakey and in the hot summer days when I go out it starts to just melt off from my face and that looks really ugly guys if this particular compact doesn't look cakey at all it just gives you a skin like finish which you are going to definitely love I really like this product I'm really happy that I have invested in this compact so overall I would say that if you want to try out a really good compact powder which you can use as your powder foundation as well go for this guys and you're not going to regret you can invest in it definitely I am telling you you are going to love it it's a great product and I really really like it so this is my complete unbiased opinions on these two products by MAC Cosmetics guys I have shared my honest opinions and this is how I feel about MAC Studio Fix Fluid Foundation and MAC Studio Fix Powder Plus Foundation if you want me to choose either of these two I would say definitely go for the Powder Plus Foundation by MAC 
because I have tried it guys it's worth the investment you're not going to regret after trying out this particular product for the foundation again I am saying it's a good foundation it's not a bad product it has got good coverage it has got good, good finish but it's not that fancy it's not that different and though not that overwhelming kind of product but if you want to try out a MAC foundation and if you have oily skin this product is going to make your skin look really really flawless if you have dry skin you can mix a little bit of facial oil with this particular foundation and apply on your face and it's not going to look cakey so you can definitely invest either of these two but this has my heart and i really like it this is not a sponsored video guys i have paid for this a foundations and i thought that it would be a really great help for you if i just share my honest thoughts about it so i hope you really like this video and this review video has helped you a lot and if it did make sure you hit on the like button and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already guys so please do subscribe that means a world to me i just need your love and support to grow you can even share my video with your friends and family on whatsapp twitter facebook anywhere you want because that will help me to grow i'm going to put the links of these two products in the description box so if you want you can definitely check that out so we'll see you soon in my next video until then take care of yourself stay safe stay healthy i love you so much bye guys